welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. All right, guys. So today's video, this is a Christmas Dollar Tree DIYs video. I have got several super, super cute ideas for you guys today. Very, very easy stuff. Very inexpensive. And I'm telling you, some of this stuff turns out so high end and just unbelievably simple to make. So, so stinking cute. All right, guys, let's just jump right in. All right, y'all. So for this first one, I have got three of these plastic ornaments from the Dollar Tree, along with three of their little cozy knit toboggans or knit hats, I think is what it actually says. Now, I didn't realize that these had a hole in the top of them. And that is actually for if you have a ponytail or you want to wear a bun that day or whatever, you can actually pull it through the little hole on the toboggan. So that was pretty neat to discover, but it it wasn't exactly useful, but it's okay. You're, you're never going to see it. So I put that on the bottom. I put the ornament down inside the toboggan, added my top back onto my ornament. I took a little bit of ribbon and made just a small little hanger, just something to where I could hang it on the tree. I'm then going to pull the knit hat back up over the top. So I added a little bit of hot glue just to hold it into place for me while I tie my next piece of ribbon. Because as you're going to see here, I'm just going to bunch it up at the top around my, like around the top of the ornament. I'm going to cut off a little bit of the excess. And then we're going to take another piece of ribbon and tie that around this. Super simple stuff here, guys. So, so simple. So I just tied that in a knot and then tied it in just a simple little shoestring bow. I dovetailed the ends. Super simple, guys. And then we're going to take a little bit of greenery. Now, I did add it into a cup that was the easiest. Like, I just set it in a regular cup. That way, I could, it would stay standing up for me and it wouldn't be rolling all over the table. So, quick little tip there. Um, stick it in a cup much, much easier. So I just added some greenery up underneath the bow, just some little small twigs of greenery from the Dollar Tree, along with some of the Dollar Tree's little berry picks. But guys, this was so, so, so simple. And these are so pretty. And I see these kind of ornaments selling in places like Hobby Lobby and um, just different places for three and four dollars a piece. I was able to make three of these literally with three dollars. So super simple. Well, actually, I take that I take that back. They were two dollars a piece to make because you had to have the hat and also the ornament. So two dollars a piece to make these, and they are so 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 cute. So same thing for the other two. I just added it to the knit hat. Bunched it up at the top, tied a ribbon around it, added some greenery and some berries, and check out just how gorgeous these ornaments turned out, guys. I love, love, love these. I would love to have several of these for my tree.
All right, for this next one, I have got two of the little metal reindeer from the Dollar Tree. These are so, so stinking cute, guys, just like they are. I think they're cute just as is, but obviously, we're going to change them up. <laughs> so, the first thing I did was just wiggle them back and forth until I could break them loose from the um, stand that they were on. I'm going to be using some black chalkboard paint along with some antique wax by Waverly, some silver by Arteza, and all I'm going to do is paint these reindeer with my black chalkboard paint first. I gave them two really good coats of the black, just as a, like, base color. Now, one of these I'm going to leave a little darker than the other one. You'll see that here in a minute. But what we're going to do is just add some silver to these with a stippling brush. So I just stippled on some silver. I added more to one than I did to the other. And I also added some of the antique wax to give it that kind of rust look. Check them out. So, so cute. And I do like that they're different. You know what I mean? And if, as you can see, they're on their feet. Like a couple spots kind of came off, but I, no big deal. I just went back and touched it up with a little bit of black paint. So not a big deal. Like when I was trying to push them back down in these holders, I actually pulled some off of the legs. So anyways, no big deal. Just touch that up with a little bit of black paint, but I added them back to the stands using a little bit of hot glue. I then cut down some stems from the Dollar Tree. Super, super simple, guys. We're just going to add these stems together, use a zip tie to hold them together, and then we're going to add those to the stands with the reindeer. So I just added hot glue to the actual stand. Now, I did cover up the zip tie with a couple extra little berries that I had picked off, and then I added hot glue to the stand and then added my greenery directly to that stand. So, so stinking simple. These are gorgeous, guys. They're so, so pretty. And I actually got the idea to, you know, do these like a galvanized look from Andrea Yates DIY. I believe that's the YouTube channel that I saw do something a little similar to this. And hers looked amazing, guys. So go check that out. If I can find the video, I will link it below. For this next one, and probably one of the easiest ones for today, I've got four gold frames from the Dollar Tree. Now, these have got like a glittery um, texture to them, but the glitter doesn't come off. So, don't worry about that part. I just removed everything from the frames. I even removed the little clips that hold the glass in. I then cleaned all of my glass always want to clean your glass from the Dollar Tree. And then I added them back to the frames using just a little dab of hot glue. Making sure I wiped off any excess, getting all my fingerprints off, all that good stuff. I'm then going to use my Starbond multi-purpose adhesive along with the accelerator. So what you do is you add the adhesive to one part. So we're going to add it to one side of this frame. I'm then going to add the accelerator to the other side of another frame and we're going to add the two together now when this these two products like come in contact with each other it almost makes like a hard plastic so this was perfect for keeping this together especially considering it had that like glittery texture to it so i just thought that the super glue was going to be my best route but all I did was continue to put these frames together until I had made a perfect little square. So what we're making is like a lantern of sorts, if that's what you want to call it. But it's more or less just something that where you can display maybe a candle or some Christmas trees or however you want to do it. But I then took some popsicle sticks, craft sticks, whatever you want to call them, 
And we're going to make a base for this using those craft sticks. So I just cut off the rounded edge, kind of measured it to the bottom of this, and then used the first one as a guide to cut off the remainder of my craft sticks. I'm then going to add just a little dab of hot glue to the outside edge of this box, and we're going to add down our craft sticks. This is just an easy, quick way to make a base for this. I didn't paint it or anything. Nobody's ever going to see it. So I wanted to show y'all what it would look like if you added a candle, maybe some Christmas trees, added a candle, maybe some greenery and some berries and whatnot. But in the end, I just liked the way it looked with just the Christmas trees. I thought that was a cute way to display it. So check this out. Let me know what you think about it. guys for this next one and another super super simple project i have got one of these little signs from the dollar tree along with some of these fabric gift bags so the first thing i'm going to do is try to remove the frame from the picture on my little sign so it was actually like tied on with the um hanger so anyways i had to take the hanger off and i pulled all that off i was able to pull off a little bit of the paper but i finally just said to heck with it and used the back of this now i took out my little bag <clears throat> i i snipped it where the seam was and then i was able to like pull the bag open to where i just had fabric so i just would snip the seam and then rip it open I kind of measured it out to where I needed to cut it, and then I cut it to fit on my sign. Now, after I cut it, I pulled some of the threads out just to kind of fray the edges all the way around. I frayed it on all four sides, just pulling a little bit of the threads out at a time. This is so, so super simple to do. Now, I did trim it up a little bit just so it was nice and straight. I bought this pack of paper at the Dollar General store, you guys, for $3. How cool is that? First of all, I didn't even know Dollar General had anything like this, but $3 for a pack of paper, very, very cool. I dry brushed the frame. Now, I dry brushed it with a very heavy hand. I wanted it white, but I still wanted it to look like a distressed coat of paint. So, just very heavily dry brushed the frame. I then took some of my Aileen's Tacky Glue and Water Mixture and my paper. I bent my paper over the side of the sign so that it would give it a crease and I would know exactly where to cut it to fit my sign. I added my Aileen's Tacky Glue and Water Mixture. It's a 50-50 mixture. I just added that to my sign and then I'm going to add down my paper. I like using this method because it does not wrinkle your paper, you get no creases, nothing like that, and it sticks very, very well. I took one of the Dollar Tree's little embossing tools and poked the holes back through the paper. I was going to add the Aileen's Tacky Glue to the back of my fabric, and then I was like, okay, it'd be so much easier just to add it to the paper, because it was coming through the fabric anyway, so I was like, forget it. I'll just add it to the paper, thinking that if I added it all the way around, then when I put my frame back on, maybe my frame would stick using the Aileen's Tacky Glue. That didn't work out, but you'll see that in a minute. <laughs> but I was able to glue down the fabric, 
And then I began to try to glue the frame, and I realized pretty quick that that was definitely not going to work. So I went ahead and dried my glue by using my heat gun. I've always got a heat gun in the description box, guys. They are so, so handy to have in your stash. I gl hot glued the frame back to the sign, making sure that I lined up the holes at the top. That way, when we go back to put the hanger on, it'll be super simple. So I just poked the hanger back through the holes using that embossing tool, tied it off in the back, just tied a simple little knot in the back and cut off the excess. Super duper simple. I had a few little greenery picks from another project laying around. Now, these greenery picks and the berries came off of, I think, an ornament or something, but they were already cut down small. So, I just added those to the top of this. And check out how stinking cute this turned out, guys. I love, love, love this. This will be perfect for like a tiered tray or something like that. I just love it. Alrighty guys, for this next one, I have got three of these little tinsel trees from the Dollar Tree, along with three of these gorgeous scarves that they have put out this winter. Y'all, these scarves are like actually good quality. So if you need a scarf, go to the Dollar Tree for it. Anyways, back to the project. So I just took the tinsel completely off of the little trees totally took it off. I'm then going to take some masking tape and I'm just going to wrap it completely around these trees. And I just did this so that when I go to put the material on the trees, I'll actually have something to glue it to, if that makes sense. Something that would be a little more secure than just trying to glue to that little bitty pieces of plastic that the tree is made out of. Anyways, hopefully you can see what I'm doing and it makes a little more sense here in a second. But like I said, I just completely covered those with the, the masking tape. I then took my um, scarves, laid them out on my cutting board. I cut off the little fringe that was on the end, and then I just lined it up like literally with the lines that were in that buffalo check, and that was how I cut my straight line straight down the middle. So I just cut these directly in half. Super, super simple. Same thing for the um, leopard one. And y'all, is that leopard or cheetah, whatever you want to call it, is that not so pretty? Oh, I love it. Anyways, I then began to just wrap these around my trees. And I apologize, I'm a little out of frame here. But y'all, I literally just simply wrapped it around the tree. I added a little bit of hot glue when I started added my material. Now, as far as the bottom, I was able to just push it around and stick it to the actual tape that was on the inside of the cone. So, that that worked out perfect. And then I just wound the material around the tree. Super, super simple, y'all. You can do this any way you want to, but this was the easiest way that I could find. I cut off the, ex the excess and then I just added a little more hot glue, and I'm going to glue down that top portion just to hold that in place. So, so simple, guys. And these turn out so stinking cute, like seriously. I just love them. I love the buffalo check, first of all, but that cheetah, ah, oh, it's just too much. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, I did the same thing for the other two trees. I literally just wrapped the material around it and then hot glued it into place. I found these little bitty tiny um, stars at the Dollar Tree recently, and I thought that they would be perfect for the top of my trees. I didn't paint them. I left them just the raw wood, added a little hot glue, popped those dudes on top, 
and that was it. Check out how cute these are. And you can make so many different ones with any kind of material. one and my favorite from this video I picked up three packages of these little trees from the Dollar Tree this is like the cobblestone corner or something like that I think I picked up some of the little accessories I also picked up some of more uh, Christmas trees from the Dollar Tree along with these little houses and this little church and they all have a little switch on the bottom which turns on like a little LED light on the inside I grabbed some faux snow along with three of these MDF like shelf sitter signs all from the Dollar Tree. So the first thing I did was just get all of my pieces unwrapped and ready to go. I laid out some um, wrapping paper so that I could do a little painting. I'm out of my um, other paper that I normally paint on. So I just laid out some wrapping paper. I sat out the little MDF signs pulled the paper off of them, and then I'm going to wood glue them together. So I just added a little wood glue, glued them together, and then I'm gonna take my staple gun. Now my staple gun I got on Amazon, it's a Killed brand. It is so, so handy to have, guys. I'll leave a link in the description box for this particular staple gun. It's really easy to use, and I just love it. I absolutely love it. Sorry my head's in the way. <laughs> Anyways, I just glued these together, and then I stapled them front and back so that this would stay together. I knew I was going to be putting that faux snow all over the top of this so you would never see those staples. So I just stapled the far out of it. I mean, I stapled it very, very well. I used some linen white, also some plaster, and also some mineral chalk paints by Waverly. So I painted the MDF signs with the, the linen white um, Rust-Oleum ch chalk paint. And then I painted the little houses with the mineral color and then I painted the roofs of those houses with the plaster color, both from Waverly. Check it out. Now, I know these are not everybody's colors, but I was doing more of a neutral look. I wanted a real Christmassy, but super neutral. Don't forget to pull the little tab out of the bottom of these in order for the light to work. But how cool is that? They, they all have a little light in them. So, so cool loving that all right so i'm gonna lay them out on my little my my mdf signs and just kind of figure out the placement of where i want everything what we're making is a little christmas village so i cut down a little bit of garland and made some wreaths to go on the fronts of my houses and one on the front of my little church i then took some mod po or well some aileen's tacky glue and water mixture added all that and then added in my faux snow and look at how stinking pretty this is oh my gosh y'all i love this piece so 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 much let me know what you think about it in the comments
Okay, so for this next one, I've got a wood round from the Dollar Tree along with a placemat that I found at the Dollar Tree. Guys, they're stepping it up. Check out this placemat. All right, so the first thing I did was just cut up the placemat. I literally cut around the image that was on it. Now, I did not try to make sure that every single little piece was cut exactly right. I just did it until I thought that it looked good. I mean, I went around it best I could, but I did not stress if there was a little bit of the outside edge showing. I took some antique wax by Waverly with a baby wipe, and I stained the um, wood round with that antique wax, dried it with my heat gun. I'm then going to take some of this Starbond multi-purpose adhesive along with the accelerator, and we're going to glue this placemat to the wood round. Now, the reason I'm using the super glue is because I was afraid if I used the hot glue, number one, it could melt the placemat, but number two, it would be like bulky. You know what I'm saying? Like it would be kind of raised or something, and I didn't want that. I wanted this to be as flat and perfect on this wood round as possible. So, I just sprayed that accelerator on the wood round and then laid my piece down directly on top of it. Now, once I got it glued, I took some ribbon that I got from Walmart and I just made a simple shoestring bow, like literally just the simplest bow. I dovetailed the ends and I'm going to glue that right on top of the placemat. Now, I did use hot glue for this part, but I wasn't worried about it melting it or anything like that with the, the ribbon. I added some beads to the twine that came with it, added that twine back, and check it out. I love this. This was so, so simple, but it is definitely very pretty. Alrighty guys, for this last one and the one that is so, so simple, but it looks so awesome when we're done. I've got some twine from the Dollar Tree, some baker's twine. I've also got this gorgeous tag and a beaded garland. Now, I just took that twine, baker's twine, and I wrapped it around a small little box, about the size of like playing cards or something, a small little box. I wrapped it around about 40 times, I believe I counted. So I just kept on wrapping, snipped it off. I'm then going to take the ends of the um, beaded garland, open that up, like I'm gonna untie that part, open that up, and we're gonna use that to tie onto the end of these loops that we've just made. So I used the end of the beaded garland to tie on. We're making a tassel, so I just tied it on with the end of the twine that was already on there double knotted it. I'm then going to take another piece of the baker's twine, wrap it around the top, and I'm just going to wrap it back and forth around that top. I think I wrapped it about four times just to give it that, you know, center, that, that little space up there at the top. Tied that off, and then I'm going to cut open all of my loops. So I just cut those at the bottom, and then I'm going to bunch it up and cut straight across the bottom to give it that perfect edge. I then used the twine that was on the um, tag, tied that to the other end of the beaded garland, and would y'all look at how stinking cute <laughs> this turned out. Y'all, this literally took me like three minutes to make. Look at how cute. You could buy this in a Hobby Lobby or somewhere. I'm telling you. So, so simple.
All right, y'all, that is it for today. Thank you so, so, so much for spending your time with me and checking out these DIYs. I hope that you guys got lots of inspiration. I love, love, love putting together these videos for y'all. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. Speaking of new videos, go check out my latest video. It is all new updates on our house. We are so, so close to getting moved in, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So definitely go check that out for all new updates on the house. And also, go check out my latest Christmas DIYs video. There are lots of stuff in there for y'all. All right, check me out over on TikTok. Have a blast doing the TikTok videos. It is a lot of fun over there, so go check that out. Thank you all so, so much for being with me today. And y'all have a blessed day.